Good morning. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Series. My name is Sajan and I work for Doc365 Incorporated. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to check out and basically to check in a file in SharePoint Online. Now, what are the benefits of checking out or checking in in SharePoint Online? Well, a few of them is like you can avoid confusion with editing and authors. You'll be you can allow your co-workers to see who is currently editing a document. Edits being made to check out files that are not available to other co-workers until you check the file back in. So the file is always safe. You don't have a lot of people working on and unless you check it out. And the co-workers can still view the read-only original version of the file. And a good option if you are making important edits not yet ready for publishing so this is very very important for content um you know content managers or content writers where you know they can keep this option and basically they can lock this file so that you know that's something that where they will be making their important edits and you know it's not ready for publishing and you can also use check-in form to provide pertinent comments about changes you make to a file so this is very, very important again because you can notify your co-workers on the comments. You can basically go ahead and put in your comments to let your colleagues know about what kind of changes you have made to this particular file. So this is a document library, what you see over here. Now, please note, um, I've actually reverted back to the classic SharePoint view. There's no harm in using the latest SharePoint view, but I just, I just thought, you know, just go ahead with the classic SharePoint view and show you how, how this has been done. So this is the classic SharePoint view and this is my document library. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you where this feature lies. Now, if you can see on my top left hand side of the screen, you have browse, you have files, you have a library. I click on files and I'm gonna select one of the file here now it says after school activities and it's a pdf file i click over here i get an option called checkout right which basically checks out this document from the library and it cannot be edited by anyone else while it remains checked out now that's the same thing which i told a bit earlier also i'll be able to do the same by right clicking on this and go to advanced and then i click on checkout same thing right and Microsoft provides multiple options to check out a file in SharePoint online including you know using the file check and check out right clicking on the name of the file and selecting advanced right so as I just showed you a while ago so you can click on advanced error clicking on more under options basically now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check out this file so I click over here <laughs> click on the checkout file all right, so it's been checked out. So, which means, you know, now this is, this file has been locked. And, you know, checking out a file actually locks out other users. So you can work on it and edit the file exclusively. You can also see that it's been checked out by the user here. I'm using it as an administrator. So I, it's been it's shown over here. And other users can still see the file as a read only you know, preview. So they'll be able to see it, but they're not, they're not allowed to make any changes. So they cannot access or view the edits or the changes you're making until you have checked in back again. And also, if you can see on my screen, I'm gonna make it big, yeah. You can see a symbol over here, which means check in the green icon that's next to this file. So that's how you identify it's being checked in. Also, if I, over my mouse, over this, it's actually showing up, you know, the file name and it's checked out to a particular user. So that's how it's been done. And now what I'm going to do is, you know, probably go ahead and, you know, now, okay, let's take up a scenario. Now, if you're unable to, let's say you made the changes and, or no, let's say, okay, I'm the admin and I was making changes to the file and now my colleague wants to access this file. Unfortunately, he's not able to do that. And he's trying to reach me 
and let's see i'm out of station i'm not i'm not i'm not in the office or probably i'm traveling i'm not able to attend his calls or you know get back to him uh, you know probably that that's something what happened with me so what the other user can do is in case of emergency what he can do is he can go back to the administrator the sharepoint administrator and the administrator has the privilege to go back and manually check the files back in. So that's something that the administrator will be able to do that. Now let's say I came back and now I made all the changes. Now the next step is obviously to check in, right? So what I do is I right click on this uh, document and go to advanced. I have an option to discard the checkout or I can go ahead and directly check in. Basically, to discard, choosing the discard checkout will essentially remove any changes you made to the file while you had checked it out. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on check in. Now the next thing, what happens is you get a pop-up window saying check in. You have two options for you know to fill it out. Like one is the retain checkout, where other users will not be able to see your changes until you check in. So if you wish to continue editing. You can retain your checkout after checking in. So now it actually shows you retain your checkout after check in. So either I can click on yes or no. Now, if you're gonna click on yes, which means basically to keep the file checked out to you, but publish all the changes you have made to file so far. And this is gonna be locked again so that your coworkers won't be able to edit the file while you're still working on it. So this is just like, you know, I can publish the changes, but it's not gonna allow anyone to edit my file. Just gonna click on no and the next thing is basically to track the comments now the comment box is where you can input specific notes on your changes and now this is really this is really important and it's gonna help your colleagues to track the changes uh, whatever changes you're made to the file over time so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah click on OK that's done so I've already checked out and now I have checked in on this document and now, as you see here the green icon has disappeared and this is open to your other users to edit as well so this is something that I really wanted to discuss about so thank you so much for watching and I'll be coming up with more and more videos stay tuned and have a great day